Hi there. Welcome to 2283 Ogden Street. So I'd like to give you guys a little bit of historical perspective on this property. The church was built in 1906, and it was the first Presbyterian church. And in 1947, the property became the New Hope Baptist Church. And the New Hope Baptist Church was here from 1947 to 1993. During that time, it really became the hub of the civil rights movement in 1950s and 1960s. All of the floors are reclaimed tea from India. The dining room table is 100% marble and therefore weighs, I'm sure, more than a ton. They reinforce the floors underneath the dining room table just to make sure that it can support the table. So moving along here, we have a full living area with TV, sound bar, and there's surround sound virtually throughout the entire property. We also have a beautiful fireplace, but if you look at the archways, these were all archways that came from a mosque in India. And the pillars actually have uh, some Arabic writing on them, and some were actually hollowed out in order to cover a support beam. And then this area is called the library. However, it also doubles as a additional bedroom. So you can see there's a Murphy bed here that comes out. And if you want privacy, these drapes follow the pipes and this can be 100% private. Now the property really lends itself towards entertaining. And this area in particular is wide open for people to walk and enjoy uh, the, the whole property and the experience of being here. This was actually the altar of the original church, and above it is the choir loft. The kitchen is truly a chef's dream. So you have a whole wine bar here with the Lazy River hammered copper sink. All the best appliances, so an Advantium microwave. There are two dishwashers, a sink here, a sink there, a sink over there. You have here a pretty amazing Wolf stove and double oven. So six burners plus a griddle. And then this is a Vulcan grill, which they refer to as the Ruth Chris grill because it will sear. Uh, Sub-Zero and two huge pantries. And then of course, don't forget, you've got your built-in coffee maker. Actually, let's call that a built-in barista. If it would just deliver my coffee to me in bed, I'd be thrilled. And moving along here, we're going to go up to the choir loft. So you can just imagine what it was like to have the New Hope Baptist Church Choir singing from this position. But it's also a great place for a piano or for an office. Through here, we have what's called a, we call it a third non-conforming bedroom, only because it doesn't have a closet. However, it does have an ensuite three-quarter bath. This would be considered a second master suite. So it does close with French doors, but it also has draperies for privacy. There's a queen bed, and I love this detail. They didn't want to block any of the light going to and from the stained glass windows, so they just used glass. Through here, this is considered a dressing room, and if I had a walk-in closet like this, I'd move in today. And again, there's a full bath, and all of the finishes are marble. So the unit comes with three car spaces. The farther one fits, obviously, just about any vehicle. This one is great for a mini or motorcycles or gear or scooters, etc. And then there's another garage bay on the other side. I also want to point out that there is an elevator for this unit. And this goes directly between the first floor and the master suite, unless you'd like your Stairmaster workout. There are also three furnaces and three air conditioning units. 
there are five bathrooms. Two of them are powder rooms. Three of them are either full baths or a three-quarter bath. So this is another powder room, and check out the unusual Chinese vanity there. So we'll walk upstairs, and you can get a view from up, up, up above here. Halfway up, we have a home office, and I love how they created these cutouts so that you get the national natural light as well as the openness to the space above and below. So here we have the master suite. You have a private off the master washer and dryer, but it's a whole room. Again, the elevator that goes between the third floor and the main floor. And then the built-in coffee bar and wine bar. King size bed. And then we have the master bath. And as soon as you step in, the rope lights underneath the vanities light up. You also have a clawfoot tub that's a jetted tub, a steam shower, two separate vanities, and then a really lovely vanity for putting on makeup, etc. And here you have one of the best views in Denver. The city, as well as the Front Range. It is really a one-of-a-kind property and perfect for anybody who likes to live close to downtown, but in a neighborhood with grassy areas and parks and restaurants right outside your door.